you know, us super nerds are watching each frame of the latest GFS as it comes out in real time. Close to midnight here on um, May Day 12. And as you can see, for like the fifth run in a row. Oh, that's not true. There was a run where it skipped a hurricane. But nope, like three of the last four or four of the last five. The GFS has said, hey, guys, in about 10 days, there'll be a hurricane forming in the CAG area. Bay of Campeche? I don't know. Sometimes I'm bad with geography. And it's late. It's been a long day. Um, but yeah, so watch the models. And looks like we got something to watch out for. But Edgar McGregor points out that the earliest hurricane landfall in the United States was Hurricane Alma, Category 1, in 1966, which hit Florida on June 9th. And the earliest major hurricane landfall in the U.S. was Category 3, Hurricane Audrey, on June 27th, 1957, also in Florida. So he thinks that the GFS is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and he may be right. I mean, if it's never happened in the last hundred years, then, you know, maybe it's, there's no chance of a hurricane coming. But this is May Day 2022. So, shit's been crazy on like almost every level. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just watching. This is kind of what I do. You know, so this was the storm in the Dakotas earlier. It had some 100 mile per hour winds that were tearing up Top Golf somewhere. And we had another M class flare. Man, there have been a ton of solar flares lately. All right, we got a few new frames on the GFS. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, see, it slipped into the Gulf of Mexico. And anybody, like, the if, you know, this is 10 days away. So nobody knows. Technically, it's 13 days away. But um, if a hurricane slips into the Gulf of Mexico, anyone who knows anything that the Gulf of Mexico is like a hurricane intensive fire. So, yeah. Hey, let me take a second to remind y'all that, A, I'm in the middle of a Thor News fundraiser for May, and I've only got $923 left to raise. Thanks to Karis Cellophane. Mary, James, Christine, Stephanie, and everybody in Asteroid Fight Club. And man, I am super tight hurting for money. So if you'd like to donate or contribute to help keep Thor News up and running, that would be super duper greatly appreciated. I got a mailbox, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Patron. All right. We got more frames. Boom, 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 boom. Right. But yeah, at this point, what the GFS shows or where it shows the hurricane going doesn't really matter to me. You know, I mean, it is over 10 days out, but what it is showing is that a hurricane is developing about five days after the total lunar eclipse and that it would make it into the Gulf of Mexico and take a left. So that has been a consistent trend. Obviously, anything can change. Hopefully, the prayer warriors of the atmospheric defense team can make a difference. Oh, yeah, here we're looking at the storms over the plains. But here, the score was showing us, this is brought to us by Matthew, that the 18Z had a big hurricane moving into the gulf around the 26th the 12z gfs said major hurricane around the 28th the 6z gfs said hey nothing and then the 00z may 12 said yeah hurricane so that is four of the last five i believe so yeah, four of the last five have suggested a hurricane. Though a lot can change, and sometimes the hurricane models have a hard time drawing up fantasy hurricanes before hurricane season actually starts. So right now we're just watching, man. Super nerding out at midnight. And I never want to waste your time. So, but I'm just saying... It's something to watch for, especially in this wild, wild 22nd. But yeah, so now it goes in here, and then where it would go after that, nobody knows. So, okay. 
All right, so yes, us nerds are just letting you know the GFS keeps spinning something up. So in conclusion of this video, the GFS has shown a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico around the 25th through the 28th, four of the last five runs. Is it a fantasy cane? Is it going to be real? Nobody knows. Like Edgar McGregor pointed out, the climatologists say it's, it's almost impossible. So, you know, I guess we'll find out a week or two from now. All right. And I will leave you with some images of our son. Oh, come on. Don't, don't have problems loading on me. What the? Jesus. But the. Oh. Okay. Here now we get to look at it unobstructed. But there have been a lot of solar flares lately. I mean, a whole lot. And so here we're getting solar flares from multiple sunspots. This one over here, this one right here, the big X class, bam. And then this one over here, or was it over, up there? So yeah, there's a lot going on. I hope you have a great night. I hope you have cool dreams. Oh, it was down there. And I hope you're happy, and I hope you have a super duper wonderful weekend. Okay. I think I'm getting tired. Yep, I'm getting tired. All right. Have a super duper wonderful great night. And if you perhaps would like to contribute or donate to Thor News, it would be super duper um, awesome of you. Okay. Thanks. Have a great night. Talk to you soon. Peace out. God bless everyone.